Alrighty, let's go hand in this mission, see how much we get. I'm interested to see the breakdown. We did destroy a Nebulon. But they engaged a class 546. Star Destroyer. So, on the factory, we did 278 grand worth. For killing the Lambda, we did 291,000 credits worth. For killing the Nebulon, we got 900,000. So we got 3 million for that mission. not bad nice patrol paid it yeah but we lost four Y wings and an X wing so where the hell is the trader oh actually let's just do this Actually, let me rephrase that. We lost three X-Wings and my, or my, four Y-Wings and my X-Wing. Annoying. Um. I think I'm going to buy the Pelta. Gonna pick a nice shiny new ship for myself. Yeah. I liked my X Wing. <laughs> Alright, well, let's buy the Pelta. Good chunk of our money, but it has four times the capacity of these guys. And then, um, let's jump up here for a second. Let's, uh, repair the fleet. Sounds like insurance fraud to me. Does everything sound like insurance fraud to you, though? Now, do we give the X-Wings torpedoes? Yes. We want to be able to punch through acclimator shields. You say you're suspicious? It's good to be suspicious, though. You don't take things for granted. Of course, there's a difference between being suspicious and being a nut job. <laughs> I don't think you're a nut job. Shields are the main problem. Oh, 
possibly halfway to Nutjob. Your word's not mine. They're hardly smart enough to use the ions and then use the protons. I think now with the Pelta, then I might like teleport over to it and just vacuum in everything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have a troll in Yagdo? Yes, we do. Because our fleet is going to come back down. Shoot some stuff. If we can cap a transport out on its own. Oh, that, that looks like an Anawet building. Is that the one where we just destroyed? Probably. Uh, yeah, if we can catch it, like get transport out on its own before the Republic come and get it, we'll board it. Get a lot of Marines on a Pelta. Um... What is the crew of a Pelta? Ninety-five? Yeah. It ain't bad. Um get up. The thing is, can it Hank an acclimator long enough. Get in and out. Obviously, you'll be able to tank longer than the CSS, but they're really cheap. Good luck out there. That dreadnought is in a fight. Over this way. Really bad idea because I have all my transport ships following me. Let's go this way. And what we'll do, because we're in third person, the UI is a bit skewed. You're all in Hosnian Prime, so you can all pop down here to Yagdal.
That's why you don't want to take on a, a cruiser. A Valor cruiser, because it has all those medium guns. Not great against capital ships, but against Peltas and CR-90s, it's going to wipe the floor with them. And it's hostile to us, so we might keep our guys away. So this whole fleet is down here while um, the other patrol is getting annihilated by a Valor. Try Mandalorian Raiders, we'll take that as a background mission. No problem. That's active. And then the, the fleet should be moving soon. They're all trying to dock with the CR-90. Oh, you have field comms on board? You have your torpedoes, so... That's fine. Oh, the Y-Wing is docked. Remove all orders. Yeah, the way wing is docked. Let's do it. Cool. Oh, they should all be following now. New giant alpha group. Delta. You're going to pop into Yagdal for me. And we're just going to keep flying because I don't want to be next to all the Anawat ships with our freighters until we can clear it out. By the wing. <clears throat> we'll buy a B wing and I'll use that. I'll try it out anyway. Our little merchant fleet. Not suspicious at all. Actually, do you know what I could do? I could get the Lambda. Um, see if you have any weapons for it. No. Only have 58,000 credits left anyway.
you guys join that as an attack with. CR90 is now in Yagdal. Two minutes in the B-Wing will be ready. Uh, I'll pilot the B-Wing. Because I've never done that. And we'll see about... I want to capture a large transport again. I'll also see about attacking that defense platform. All depends if that um if the Valor is hanging around. Uh, so we'll teleport over to the CR90. And the YT will remove all orders, just sit there. Oh, it's two X-Wings attached to it? Okay, they're they're rotating in and out, basically. As they do. Yeah, that cruiser's still there. AT Gaming, um, ship insurance? Is there ship insurance in X4? Oh, you're responding to Sully. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> Transporters I want to hit. Going good, dude. Going good. Uh, we made a bit of money, made some purchases. Uh, you can just follow that, so that'll bring that down. So we have our, you know, our trader group here, actually. And I'm thinking about it, you're... You've got some cargo. We are killing Ascendancy gum at the moment. Um, just because they're better target. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my fighter. Is that guy coming towards us? Don't want to take on that cruiser just because it's well suited to take on our our fleet composition would not do well against that anyway i was hoping that this fleet would you know do something and come over here There is a second station being built down around here. But again, it's... The last time I looked at it, there was a couple of acclimators next to each other, and our fleet would not do well against that. 
Also, our Pelta is in system. Oh, I started with nothing. We, we had to buy the cross sections. Yeah, we didn't even have the connections. I don't think I can even build solar panels. What do we build? Uh, we're not really building, so all I have is this little station ready to build. But I don't want to build it until I have all of the chair components and stuff, which I could buy. So all our um, all our income is coming from raiding. I started out with a single X-wing. Uh, I've lost it a couple of times. We've lost a bunch of fighters. Well, the great thing about this custom start is the only thing you have to set up is pick which starting ship you want and um, do your relations, and that's it. We did have a hammerhead, uh, which unfortunately got destroyed because of a friendly fire incident, I think. Sucks, but it is what it is. Now our B-Wing is in system. I've never flown a B-Wing. My god. Like our perfect target. And it's on its own in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it's obviously under attack. Still on its own. No, friendly X-Wing went down. Oh well. Okay, I need more B-Wings. This is the... pause real quick and we're gonna set up this as attack with because I didn't do it before I got distracted by an acclimator
Get under those guns. You should abandon ship. Come on. Yeah, we, we did the exploring of the map the first time uh, with the Bounty Hunter run. After that, it's like, okay. Oh, we could destroy some mines. Yay. So, Pelta, you're actually going to fly down here as well because there's a nice defense fleet there. And then what's going to happen is you guys are all going to follow the Pelta. Yeah, people are going to be around at the weekend and, uh, well, all of next week, actually. We're doing a lot longer streams. Um, planning to do, like, a 12-hour... ...at some point. I'm not going to say, like, oh, yeah, I'll do it now. Only use around 55 mods. Oh, you haven't used the Star Wars mod before? Uh, it's like a different game. It's awesome. Okay, sweet. The um, cruiser seems to have moved off a bit. Really good. Because our fleet is about to arrive. And we're about to steal all this stuff. I think I've done... Five playthroughs now, full playthroughs on the Star Wars mod. All on the YouTube channel there. Of various different uh, runs. Probably the next one is going to be like a Trade Federation thing. Friendly Star Destroyer just jumped into system. Well then. Where is it going? I kind of want to go down there. Coming up here. Right, 
and the fleet is not too far away. Yeah, it seems to be going off. Okay. We're going to hit that storage after we hit this. Oh, wait a minute. He's doing a full turn. Could be going anywhere. Watching the ships, yeah, I, I used to spend a lot of time just watching the battles. Okay, yeah, we need a squadron of B-Wings for attacking acclimators. Like lose half my shield there. Three quarters of my shield, never mind. I don't want to do another run yet. I need my guys with me here. They're being very slow about getting here though. Oh, it's firing three at a time. That's why I only had two volleys. Ah. Like in World War II, never fly in a straight line. Just do a, a flyby of the build story so that he shoots it himself. Using WASD to uh, basically dodge without maneuvering. It'll throw off the AI a little bit. Any torpedoes? I used my torpedoes on the last acclimator. Thankfully, I have a fleet with torpedoes just about to arrive. Oh, and he's left. <laughs> So as long as he stays up there, I'm okay. What we'll do is Pelta, uh, follow me. It's kind of risky having all of our stuff here <laughs> underneath that. But he has flown away too.
Our A wings are. A wings are on intercept, so they will attack fighters within a 30 kilometer range. But okay, this is good. <clears throat> we'll probably attack that neutron then. Uh, once we get the Pelta down here, I'll jump into the Pelta. Hoover up all of this. Oh, nice. There's turret components in there as well. Excellent. I need them. Field components. A lot of energy cells. Not as much of the prefabs as I'd like. But hey, what can you do? Getting out of there. You remove all orders. The Pelta is just over there. You have a trader, I have a trade fleet. He just happened to launch all of his drones as I approached. Not a fan of the cargo drones. Even if we just get the bulk. Have the drones move at 300 meters a second? Cool. I just did this. <sighs> Be fair. So what did we collect? 21,000 energy cells. By the way, we're still not full, which is excellent. Which means I can teleport back to you. And the Pelta is just on a follow me order, so not going to do much. And that storage was there. Alright, I need to hit the other storage. I steal from the Ascendancy, but only after I attack the area. For example, we're actually going to tell you go up and attack that. Is that an ISD is gone? the ion torpedoes
Should rethink that. so big that it takes the hits. Dude, you know you wanna... Gave him the opportunity to surrender. So, Pelta. Also, go here. Get rid of all that crap. Didn't pick it up again. Sweet. I am hesitant to attack that station, although I do really want to, because last time we attacked one of those stations, uh, I think our guys must have fired a torpedo that hit a fighter or something. Did not go well, but this... This is going to be, um... Interesting. Of course, it picked up all of the energy cells, as usual. So we'll go back in here, ship information. Oh yeah, yeah. It wasn't wasn't really an issue of range, it's that we hit um Something we shouldn't have. Right. Move back. 
back from that. And then we are going like this, this, da -da 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 -da. We begin again. Okay, picked up those as well. Collect all of that. Okay, so you're full. Um, get out of the way. You're full. And sure, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. So you get out of the way. A wings are just attacking everything. God damn it. Not proud of them, really. It's what I told them to do. So I actually might just switch them back because they're going to cause us undue issues. Uh, right. <clears throat> GR75 is also just about full. So, Lambda. Collect the module prefabs. YT. All Jura Steel. Or module prefabs, god damn it. A minute. So there are all the energy cells that we dropped. I keep doing that, I keep clicking on the damn map. Okay, YT thirteen hundred. You're now full. Keep playing right over there. All right. So now, I just uh, remove all those so that they're not in the way. We're gonna jump back in the B wing. Then you are going to go sell all the energy cells and crap that you picked up. Oh, I did pick up so many energy cells. Okay, and then like a Jura seal plate. Go so sell all of that. Lambda. Give me 443,000 for your module prefabs. Sell all of that. And you have 200 module prefabs, which is excellent. Your steel plates and energy cells. Realistically, the Ascendancy is funding the the Republic's building process without them knowing it. Let's 
sell all of that. Yeah. Uh, George Steel. Do that. You do that. Do that. You're gonna keep the turret components, and they're gonna go here. And yeah, that'll do. Oh, so our trader fleet should be away selling all their stuff. Oh, that one is loud. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. All right, let's go hand in the mission. Oh, they destroyed the ASD. Oh, well done. I need a torpedo cruiser. Yeah, they are. Heavy torpedoes. Rebel mobbing fleet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're getting stutters. One point seven million. One point one million for killing the neutron star builder. thousand for killing this shuttle. Right, bear in mind, the shuttle. That took five seconds for us to do damage to. Compared to the, the neutron that we spent a ton of uh, torpedoes on. I think they've done a great job with X4. Like, a lot of people have nostalgia about how good X3 was, but, like, X3 was a mess when it came out. For what X4 does, it's pretty good. Alright, so between finishing that mission and what's sold so far, we're up to what, 5.2 million? Oh, 
But I, I keep going back. The, the simple fact there are no loading screens. And that's what's causing, like, you know, the stuttering issues and stuff is the simulation. But the fact is that... Close all that. The fact of the matter is, I can fly from down here all the way over to here if I wanted to. And I won't see one single loading screen. Which is insane. And then with, with 6.0, you're going to have the uh, the streaming cam, so you'll actually be able to look into... You'll see how the simulation works kind of out of system, because you'll be able to look at it. That That's all kind of nuts, you know? We have another raid here. Like we might as well just keep doing the raids here, because they're worth the money to us. I can't wait to get um get my hands on the streaming cam for intervals. I was messing around with it in the beta and it had some really cool angles in the middle of um fights, which I was kinda impressed with. And uh, I'd love to be able to capture them for intervals. We should maybe port over the hyperspace loading screen. <laughs> I'd love that. Honestly, I'd love to be able to turn that on and off. I do miss the old uh, warp tunnel. Because it used to be an extra, like, when you got a big ship. It was cool looking at it and all, but it was always cool looking at it going through the warp tunnel, you know? Right, I'm going to call it on X4 for now because we're getting a lot of stutters and stuff. I'm going to switch over and do a bit of naval action because I, I want to get a bit of progress done there for the for the clan.